As you can see here, even the facial features are obviously pretty far from a realistic style of drawing. I think this is what matters most in a drawing style like mine. In a female face, the forehead is pretty high and eyes, nose and mouth are all in the lower half of the face oval. And all of that space is mostly filled by the eyes. Nose and mouth instead are pretty small. In a male face, I used to draw pretty big mouth for example and the facial shape is much sharper than a female face. The face is the most important part of a character drawing, at least it is for me, and I can spend a lot of time on the eyes, for example, and, and if they don't look good to me, I really can't go on with my drawing. And just once the face is good, uh, I can work on all the rest, because the face is the first thing that your audience uh, will look at. And it's the main focus of the whole character and all the people will spend the 90% of the time looking at, at that part. In the anime style, the face features are really simplified sometimes. And often the nose is just a little dot and the mouth is a small line. And let's say even a, a circle when, when it's open. For this reason, most of the work will be done by the eyes and in, in terms of expression. In my personal approach, for example, the eyebrows are even more important because they define the mood of a character a lot. Since I draw the eyes always with the same shape, more or less, the eyebrows make a lot of the work and you will have a lot of different moods like angry or sad or surprised just to name few in those anime from 80s and 90s uh, you will notice that the eyes are really overworked sometimes uh, with tones of eyelashes or the pupils full of light points shiny stuff and so on Let's say uh, I simplified this thing a lot and often the pupils in my drawings are just a full black or I can add a subtle gradient of color inside uh, or just one little light point. For example, you will find this approach in the Akira Toriyama works like Dragon Ball uh, used to work on very simple eyes, very simple pupils, but you can also find these a lot in some Disney characters like Donald Duck or Mickey Mouse. If you remember in the previous section, I made those names uh, when I was talking about my main art inspiration. As always, uh, you will have to make your own experiment and see what fits the most in your own art style. Be creative and always try to add your own touch, which can be determined by the things you like the best in other art styles, for example, and, and not necessarily history. Personally, I feel myself very inspired by Western art and some contaminations can be a benefit to create your own unique style, even if you decide to follow the anime path.